Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be my breakfast sandwich. All right, guys. So we went to Airy. If you don't know what Airy is, because I really didn't, I had seen it in the mall, and I actually already washed all the clothes and took all the tags off. So let's hope I like all of the clothes. I mean, I guess I could sell it online or. Yeah, but we'll get into that later. So basically, I went to the mall with my friend Carly and the mall near my house, they have this store there. It's like a brand by American Eagle and I love American Eagle. And so does Carly, she's the one who introduced me to American Eagle and now Aerie. It's kind of like a loungewear brand, but when I looked it up, it's supposed to be like a lingerie loungewear brand. And that's where the name Aerie comes from, American Eagle, it takes A, E, and then the art i.e. of lingerie and makes airy but it, it mostly has like it doesn't have like lingerie really it just has bra bralettes and like bras and underwear it doesn't have like those garter belts and all that like full-on lingerie victoria's secret would have you know i went there planning on not to get anything the like texture of like all this stuff is so soft and it's all super duper stretchy and it looks comfortable and i got two bottom <laughs> two bottom two bottoms and three tops. They were having a sale, so most, some of the stuff I even got in like the sale aisle, I ended up spending for all of this, I think just about a hundred dollars and it was all on sale. What happened was I got these comfy neon orange like sweatpants, like they're sweatpants, but they're like flared. And I bought them, they were only like 20 bucks and I was like, why not? But now I understand. <laughs> why they were on sale and it was because they're like high waters like they're flared but then they're supposed to be high waters and I went online to look at the model to see what the way she wore them I'm a pretty short person I have short legs too and I'm 5'4 so I'm not like super tall but like my legs I feel like are really short they were up to my ankles while I was standing and it just looked super weird they just look like complete high water pants it was so weird but I love the color I just and so I wasn't sure about those, so I ended up trying them on when I got home and realizing how short they were because even when I held them up, I felt like they were short. And they just, they look terrible on me, if I'm being honest. They look way better on the model. The model and the pictures can pull it off, but I cannot. So I exchanged those for some yoga pants, and I'm actually so glad I did because these pants, I love them, but they just ride up. They're like a little, these are kind of like, the best thing I can compare these to are i got these off of amazon and they feel like the same kind of texture that lululemon has where it's like that thick like super like they suck into everything and i like that about them but sometimes it's a little extra because it gives me camel toe and then it's like suffocating my vagina but anyhow so i wanted to get another pair of yoga pants but i've been so excited and I went ahead and washed them per usual. Cause I just, I have this thing where I hate trying on clothes. I'll usually just bring them home, try them on and then exchange them. But most of the time I know my sizes. It's only if I, for example, this, because a lot of the stuff looks really small, but I was talking to Carly about it. And I'm like, wow, this stuff looks small, but then you like feel it and it's supposed to stretch a lot. They are very like spandexy sports tops. Like they have a lot of sports bras, but it's just super cute stuff. I totally recommend going there. I had always walked by it, but I never knew what it was. It's basically like the best thing I can pair it to is like the Athleta of American Eagle essentially, except it has some lingerie. I don't think Athleta has lingerie. Let's get into the trying on. But I gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah. I ended up switching over to Red Bull. I need those bobby pins out. I'm really trying to wean myself off of it because in a week I have to get all four wisdom teeth out. And I might do a little aftermath video of my recovery. I, I'm stressed about it. I'm nervous. I've never been put under and I feel like I'm gonna be in a lot of pain. And then they were telling me like, oh, well, sometimes with more fair skinned people, you can get bruising on your jaw. And I'm like, I'm gonna look like I got the shit kicked out of me, but it's fine. So I'm gonna start with these pants because I've been really dying to try them. They're like yoga pants, but they're the V-neck or the v-waist whatever i don't know if you can see that where it's cinched but the reason i really wanted these was because it's not like the texture of these or lululemon where it's very like flowy and loose and i just love the texture and they're super soft and so i really want to try these 
These are the ones I got instead of the orange pants. I just got a large because they didn't have any medium available, which was like, I went on a Saturday and oh my God, it was insane. I'm like, I'm never going to the mall on a Saturday. Like that was, I haven't been to the mall on a Saturday since like high school. Cause I remember once I graduated, I would always, because my off days weren't always on a weekend. Like I usually work the weekends. So I would always go to the mall during the week and it was so much better. Like I love it when the malls are empty. It's like the best thing ever. I think it's because I'm a quick walker. So I'm like, I'm like <laughs> between stores and then there's people that are just like mosey on and I can't stand it. And then I get stuck behind them and they're like five friends and I'm just like, can I just go around you guys? Like, oh. so I'm gonna try them on real quick. Oh my goodness, these fit amazing. And they're like thinner, like they're not as thick, so I feel like they'll be a lot more breathable. I just hope you can't see my ass cheeks, but honestly, if you can, I'm still wearing these because these are so comfortable. And the V-neck looks really nice. I will say they are hella long, but I'd rather them, them be too long than high waters like the last one. Like I wish you guys could feel this fabric because this is amazing. This is amazing. I think this is probably one of my favorite hauls thus far just because of these pants. And the v-neck just looks cute. But these stretch a lot. Like I'm sure even if you were like an XL, you could probably fit into these because they're just so stretchy. But I like it because they don't... The ones I was wearing have like this band right here where it's like an elastic band so it kind of gives me a muffin top sometimes here and I don't like that oh I'm obsessed with these and it's like the fabric like I don't know how to describe this fabric but it's kind of like if you've had Nike Pro leggings it's like that fabric but much softer if that makes any sense because it's thin like that but it's much softer and I'm obsessed oh my god ooh, ooh. okay I really want to try one of these tops on so I'm gonna start with this one. I don't know which way, I I bought it intending to wear it like this with the twist in the front, but I didn't see a tag. So I don't know if it's supposed to go like this or they're like, the, oh. And this is, a, I got a size medium. This was only like 15 bucks because it was on clearance. And I'm like, guys, this is super cute. Why won't you buy this? But the, I, I'm assuming maybe, we'll try it both ways. How about that? We'll try it on with the twist in the front and the back. So this is, this is not bad. This is the, I think the way you're supposed to wear it. But if I'm being honest, I'm probably, maybe I'll wear it both ways, but like. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> right now, I really want to wear it with the twist in the front. But I, the texture of it, it's very like super cute. I mean, it, it has like a, a ribbed, I don't know if you can see, but there's like a ribbed texture to it. All right, I'm gonna flip it around and I'll be right back. First of all, my boobies just look so good. I'm definitely wearing this way. Oh my gosh, my boobs just look good in this. I'm obsessed. I feel cute, but comfortable. I don't care if the tags on the front, the back, whatever, I, I'm wearing it like this. Like this is, this is it, this is it. Like I'm gonna be wearing the shit out of these clothes and you guys are gonna be so annoyed. And it's just so comfortable. Like it's not, cause I hate it when you buy stretchy stuff. It's like, like it makes you feel like you're getting suffocated. And sometimes with sports bras and stuff like that. This is the way I'm wearing it. I'm sorry, but like 10 out of 10. All right, now I'm excited. I wanna try on this top. It's like a nice little ribbed mock turtleneck. This was also on sale. I don't know what color, because in person it looks like a very light lilac, but then in the camera it kind of looks a little more pink. So whatever you want to call it. I definitely thought this one, it looked small, so I don't know what size this is, I didn't look. I think I got small in this, but I expected it to be much tighter, so I kind of like that it's a little looser. But this is super cute. It's like a rib stretch, I don't know if you can see the rib. A rib stretch top. Super cute, super comfortable, and I like the color. And again, this one was in clearance. These were originally 60 bucks, but with the discount, it was like around 40. I believe both of these tops were like 15, 20 each. And I can't remember how much this one was, which love this color, but we'll get into that in a minute. First, we're gonna do these shorts. 
they're supposed to be like loose comfy shorts and I've been really loving shorts like these and I know I shouldn't admit to this but sometimes I wear them out of the house like if I'm going to the grocery store I'm like all about comfort these days but I'm all about feeling cute like I really don't do my makeup that much anymore but I've gotten really into doing a full outfit and as long as I have like a cute outfit on that I feel good in it makes like it makes me feel better you know what I mean like more put together so we're gonna try these on but I'm obsessed I don't know what kind of color you would call this blue but I'm obsessed with it it's like a sky blue it's like a very I don't know, is it like cool tone blue? I don't know, it just, I feel like it lo would look great on my skin. So we're gonna put these on real quick. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these because they're loose, because they looked really big when I bought them. And I kind of like how they have this dip right here and pockets are nice. I don't ever use these kind of pockets, but I love to put my hands in them. For some reason, I end up like standing like this. This inside looks really rough, but it's actually really soft and it's a super soft cotton very lightweight this is color is everything i have this shirt here and i like this blue as well because it's a much brighter blue this is normally the blue i go for but i feel like this one has a lot more green in it than where this one's like more like a purplish blue if that makes sense and i'm obsessed with this color i love both of these all right i'm gonna put on the top and this one I'm really excited about. These tops, like if you're shopping there and you see they're like spandex or their tops or even the pants I was looking at, because I probably could have fit into a medium. It just would have been a little more snug. If you like look at their stuff, all their like tops and their really spandexy stuff looks really small. And I was like, damn, they're really body shaming out here. All of these look so tiny. And I was like, I remember when I looked at the pants and then they also had some spandex that were which I would have gotten a pair of spandex, but they were like the short, short ones. And I don't really wear those. I'm more of like whatever this length is where it comes down to like, I guess, mid thigh, especially publicly because that the short spandex, my booty cheeks would be rocking everywhere. I mean, seriously, but all their stuff looks really small, but it's because it's supposed to stretch so much. This does look really small, but I promise you it'll fit. If it doesn't, I'm going to be so sad. I love 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 so let's get to the final item wow this is probably my best haul i've ever had so if you have an airy near you i and you're a woman or a man that likes women clothes or whatever if you just like sporty stuff because i don't think they have a men's section at all not like american eagle so just be aware of that it is a little pricier but it's so worth it it's cheaper than lululemon and i feel like dare i say i like it better just saying guys i'm obsessed i wish i had my sunglasses i left them in the car honestly i might go get them and i'll be right back category sexy bitch i'm the bar alien superstar has anyone heard that song i'm obsessed with it but i would just like to say i don't know something about this blue has been doing something to me because i just got these sunglasses granted the blue's a little off it's a little more lighter but like this is a look and then like some white air forces i think yes oh speaking of shoes i recently tried to wear converse and I, ever since i got i think it was 2020 is when right right around on when i was going through chemo i got a, my first pair of air forces and i think i used like my birthday discount for them i've been obsessed i like the chunkiness they're way more comfortable than converse they have more cushion and recently i tried to wear like a pair of high tops or even regular converse and i just can't do it anymore they're like so flat they're so uncomfortable to think that i worked like eight hour shifts in converse my poor feet like pray for them because <laughs> that's 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 pretty pretty gnarly for lack of better word and then you could even like do like one of these and show a little baby maybe i'll clip one more of these i feel like my boobies are about to fly off i think that's cute honestly Guys, I may have spent $100 there, but like, it was so worth it. Oh, and I did get some Amazon sunglasses, those being one, and I got them in a set with these. These are, have colored lens, but I just love this shape. It's very cute. And then I got a bunch of those. These are the only blue ones I have. I have two other pairs that are like darker shade, like one's a gray and one's a brown, but you can kind of get the gist. These are supposed to be those like fake, Cartier glasses, but you can tell these are not real, but they're still cute. And they go with this outfit too. So it's a win-win, guys. I think I'm gonna wear this outfit. This is like a 10 out of 10 for me. And just the texture is super soft. Like at the spandex that they use, I don't know what it is that they use, but it's a super soft spandex. And I love it. We'll leave a button for now. 
Guys, this was a really big one for me because usually in my hauls, especially my last one, I feel like they never go well and I always end up hating something, but honestly, I'm obsessed with all of it. I don't know which top I'm gonna wear right now. I kind of want to wear the white one with this because I just love that white top. But we'll leave this on for now because it matches. Thanks for watching. I hope you go to American Eagle or Aerie and find yourself something you like. I will say they open up an Urban Outfitters in the mall and I want to go there so bad, but they're just so overpriced, but they have like the trendiest stuff and I wanted to just start grabbing everything. Like if I was rich and have like could spend whatever amount I would go to Urban Outfitters because American Eagle has really cute stuff. And sure, their jeans are like $60, $70 these days. And that is pretty expensive, but I feel like with denim, it's worth it because they last much longer. Like I've never had issues with my American Jingle, Jingles, <laughs> my American Eagle jeans lasting. But I feel like when I buy cheap ones, they fall apart pretty quickly. And their tops aren't too bad, especially if you do clearance and they always have sales going on. But uh, I feel like Urban Outfitters is always super overpriced and I never want to shop there because of that. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I love y'all. And yeah, maybe like, subscribe, do all that if you feel like it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Laters, babes. Cheers.